shocking messages from Jesus and Mary on the escalation of the tribulation to Maria Julia Jeheni. What will happen in the tribulation to purify the world and the church? The signs are very clear that we are going through an escalating tribulation. But we are not going towards the end of the world now, but rather towards a change of era in which God will intervene, take power away from the enemy, purify the earth, a time of peace will come, and a flowering of faith. Our Lady said in Garabandal that this period we are going through is called the end of time, and in Fatima she said that it will culminate with the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Here we will present the visions that the great mystic Maria Julia Jeheni had about what the causes of this tribulation are, how it would escalate until it became a great tribulation, what things will happen in this process, and how we will get out of the tribulation with a world and a church purified. Maria Julia Jeheni was the greatest mystic in the history of France. She lived a life of poverty and humility and spent most of her life in a small cottage in the town of Blaine, in Brittany, dying in 1876 at the age of 70. In 1827, Jeheni received her first stigmata, the marks of Jesus' passion on her hands, feet and side, then the wounds inflicted by the crown of thorns, and the marks on our Lord's shoulders from carrying the cross. The stigmata were visible and bled for several years. From December 28, 1875, she survived for five years by eating only the consecrated host each day and during the period she did not have any liquid or solid excretion. And towards the end of her days she became blind, deaf, mute and crippled, and miraculously survived by consuming the blessed sacrament. Some of her ecstasies were accompanied by levitation and at that time her body weighed nothing. She was chosen by our Lord to make reparation for the sins of France and the world. And in compensation, God favored her with his frequent visits and those of the Blessed Virgin and he gave her prophetic lights. Maria Julia had the wonderful gift of being able to distinguish the Eucharistic bread from the ordinary bread, the blessed objects from those that were not, she knew how to tell the place where the relics came from, and she could understand the sacred songs and prayers of any language. She accurately predicted the two world wars, the election of St. Pius X, various persecutions of the Church, and the punishments that would come to France for its apostasy. Many of her prophecies have remained unpublished. However, her warnings for the end times should be known to those who have ears. Maria Julia Jeheni predicted that a time of great suffering and persecution would come to the world, known as a Great Tribulation. She said it would be a time of war, famine and disease, and that the church would be in decline. She described the Great Tribulation as a time of great darkness and confusion, where people would be deceived by false prophets and the world would be a place of chaos and violence. But she also predicted that the Great Tribulation would be a time of great hope, because then Christ would intervene to save the righteous and the world would be renewed. She prophesied that there would be a world war that would devastate the world and that this war would be a war of religion. I ask, will the germ of this war be the current confrontation between Hamas and Israel? She said there would be a great famine caused by the war and she also predicted that there would be a great epidemic that would kill millions of people. She said the church would be in decline during the Great Tribulation and that this decline would be a sign of the end times and a sign of the Great Tribulation, the church would become corrupt and people would turn away from God. She described the decline of the church as a gradual process, which would begin with the apostasy of ecclesiastical leaders. She said that many bishops and priests would become false prophets and deceive many people. She said that apostasy, as a rejection of faith in God, would happen for a variety of reasons, including materialism, selfishness, and lack of religious education. She prophesied that the apostasy would be preceded by an increase in heresy and blasphemy and people would begin to reject Catholic doctrine and blaspheme against God. 
And when this begins, it would be a sign that the world is preparing for the Great Tribulation. Heresy would be promoted by false prophets, who would deceive people with false doctrines and true Christians would be persecuted during the Great Tribulation. And we would be in a time where people would be tested to see if they are willing to follow God. One of the most interesting visions of Maria Julia is the one she had of a dialogue between our Lord Jesus Christ and Satan. Satan told him, I will attack the church, I will tear down the cross, I will decimate the population and I will deposit great weakness in hearts. I will promote the denial of the Catholic religion. For a time I will be the master of all things on earth, everything will be under my control, even your temple and your faithful. And confirming the previous vision, she heard St. Michael the Archangel say that Satan would take possession of all earthly things for some time and that he would reign completely over everything. And that all benevolence, faith and true religion would be buried as in a tomb. The Holy Church will be darkened because of the sins and evil of men, and our Lord will intervene, sending a darkness to stop the evil ones from pursuing greater evil. It was revealed to her that those primarily responsible for the crisis that will come in the church are those who govern the flock, and that the misuse of freedom by priests and bishops will be part of the problem. This is why a perverted religion will take over the true Catholic religion, and the bishops will embrace the sacrilege. There will be a new liturgy, and it will cause many to be persecuted and declared enemies of the faith for not adapting to it. The new priests who are formed will be instructed by the devil. And the few who stand firm in the truth will have to flee and be scattered. But she predicted that a new religious leader would appear during the Great Tribulation. She called him the Great Prophet or the Man of the Cross. He would be a humble and godly man who would be sent by God to guide humanity through the Great Tribulation. The great prophet would be persecuted and martyred by his enemies and after his death, the three days of darkness would come where the righteous would be rewarded and the wicked would be punished. Therefore, the apostasy will culminate in the three days of darkness, which have also been prophesied by several other saints. According to Maria Julia, it will be a Thursday, Friday and Saturday. There will be thunder and lightning. People should stay at home, not open the windows or look outside. At that time you should have the candles blessed, no other light will shine brighter than those of these candles. She also recommends having the cross and the image of Our Lady blessed. The Archangel Saint Michael told her that after this, Our Lord Jesus Christ will gather his scattered sheep to reign over evil and will remove the hidden church and the prostrate cross from its tomb. So after the Great Tribulation, there will be a time of peace and prosperity. It will be a time when humanity will live in harmony with God and the world will be a better place. Well, here we wanted to talk about the visions of Maria Julia Jeheni regarding the tribulation that will come to the world and the church to purify them. And I would like to ask you what signs you consider are telling us that the world has already entered a growing tribulation.